now I just feel way more polished. Good morning. Sorry if my under eyes look a little tired, but they don't anyway. So let me do this again. Good morning. I just wanted to give you a quick little um, like a show how on how I iron my hair out. And I've already ironed this side. I put it into two little twists. I put them in a twist because I just want to keep them together. And I also like some wave and curvature to my hair. It's probably not the best thing for people that love iron straight hair, but I don't like it because my hair is curly and I want it to look like just a little more on the natural side. Okay, so I'm tying back this back of my hair and I'm doing this very unconventional to whatever feels the most natural to me. I'm using the One Stroke by Ion Perpetual Heat. I love this iron so much. I love, love, love it and I love it because I don't have to run it over my hair so many times. So I just sectioned off with my fingers little pieces in the front. And I'm in my bed. My bed's not even made yet. I just got up and I was thinking about things that I need to do, what the areas in my life that I would like to improve and whatnot. You know, I'm just feeling really motivated. Okay, so this is important. I use a brush, like a, this is, let me point this out. This is a brush by Conair and it comes with a little hook. You can get it from the drugstore. These bristles are super soft. So I just feel like it's really delicate on my scalp and delicate on my hair. Wherever it's like tugging, it'll just work around that area instead of pulling through it and breaking my hair. Alright. So this is pretty much what I'm doing. I have a mirror to my left side, so I'm looking over there, but I'm just running it through and holding that brush. And connecting it in the end whenever I iron my hair I bend it like this and I don't keep it on my hair for too long because I don't want my hair to take a little extra heat than it needs I want to keep it as natural as possible an important product that I have to mention um, that I put in my hair ah, it's hot. that I put in my hair before and after ironing sometimes after I don't need it but I put this See, now it's flat. I like it when it's a little bit more volume. And it comes out with more volume later on. I'm not worried about it becoming perfect because the rest of it's going to be wavy. Let me get that though. Because no. And bend the ends. I go around the end so that it can come out round. There we go. Um. If you are an all-natural person, if you're an all-natural girl, and you are growing your hair out, or you just need some, some shine and some bounce back in your hair, and you feel like your curls aren't really doing what they're supposed to do, I definitely think that you should try Ox Systems product. They're all natural. They're from Jamaica. You can order them online. Like even if you're just looking for a hair treatment and you just feel like you need a little help on your on your ends and you've dyed your hair. Oh my gosh. Especially if you've dyed your hair. I went to Jamaica and my hair was so burnt up from my my bleaching and dyeing it colors and whatnot which is all at the end now um, you can see that this is what has helped me so so much so much and i just kept raving about it and i still rave about it to this day i just asked them to send me another package i was just saying like my butter is getting low i really really need it um and i've tried other pomades i've tried shine pomades i've tried i don't want to throw um brands under the bus so because I, I like them too you know but nothing to me compares to this all-natural butter it's a hair butter it says pomegranate on it 
and it does smell like a really nice light scent it's not something that you're like oh she just came from a salon and her hair smells like a bunch of products it's really natural and light um the ingredients of it are mango butter essential fatty acids grape seed extract and pomegranate oil and that is all so looks like this let me show you the proof let me show you the proof mango butter essential fatty acids grape seed extract and pomegranate oil the inside of it looks like that and it just I just touch it it comes out it looks like this and when you melt it between your fingers it turns into that not bad right it melts really easily too it is an all-natural product so like sometimes if I leave it if I have it just sitting there and I'm not using it and the the butter clumps just come back which is natural the funny thing is I put this on my body it's natural it's natural guys all right so it's great when I've already put the butter in because I don't have to worry about putting anything else and this is a heat protectant because you've got some a layer of fatty acids on your hair and mango butter is great for vitamin E I think that this is such a great um, it should be rich in vitamin E because it's got essential fatty acids it's got grapeseed oil in there it's got mango butter and I would think that maybe I'm missing something pomegranate oil maybe that has vitamin E too I would think that has vitamin A in there but um I really, really do think that this can transform your hair over time. I don't do ironing all the time. Um, I just iron whenever I want to see the lengths of my hair every once in a while. And whenever I'm starting to feel like blah, like I need to do something to my hair, then I just go ahead and do it. But typically my hair is up in a bun it's curly it's beach bummy you know, and I'm just twisting it down twist it down twist it down twist it down twist it down there I gotta go pee hold on <laughs> I'm back and I'm better I'm back and I'm better. I didn't shave my armpits properly so don't look too close. Alright, bringing this back. Bringing it back. See all these dead tips? I can't wait till that just dries off. It's like you see all this healthiness. You see that? It's wavy. It's shiny. And then you come down here and it's like... Babe. Babe. Where your chinchilla at? Nope not looking too good maybe i should get the top part right here part seems accessible there we go i'm making my ponytail i'm just letting them grow out because i don't want to lose length i'm just letting it grow out i'm just dealing with the tips it looks kind of pretty though sometimes so you see i'm just taking it up you see i'm just taking it up at the roots and then I'm gonna drop that and take my brush back and run it through it. Continuing the iron out. If I was probably a hairstylist, I'd probably continue it backwards so it could fall that way. But I'm not a hairstylist and I'm doing my own hair. So I just do it however I can reach it. I like to, I'm holding my iron with a pretty nice grip too, like, so I can feel like it's trapped and flattened, and the brush helps it to stay straight so I'm not ironing over any curled pieces or something, and it also helps me to hold it because it's really, really hot. My little fingers can't handle it. Let's get this back area, I think I've been missing that one a few times, and that's it. 
Maybe I'll get these ends. A little curly. There you go. Looks more uniform, eh? All right, so now that's a part of that. And look at that, just like that half our head is done. I feel like when I cut into fours, I don't know, for some reason. For some reason, it takes me an hour and I don't want to be ironing my hair for an hour. You know what else? I don't like blow drying my hair. I don't like it. It's just... Oh, what am I doing? Stay! Longer hair and less flyaways with... I use the butter. The butter, the butter, the butter. like in the camera you got a lot of lighting in there and drag that down curling it at the ends curling it at the ends this also helps the follicles to smooth down and make it look more shiny if you're gonna give it that curve because you're ironing your hair follicles which are layered on top of each other um in a similar manner of sneakers they grow like this because your scalp is continuously pushing out more and more and more every single day it's growing right so that's why you gotta you gotta love it you gotta love those hair shops love them as they grow out and then you will have the most healthiest without the dead ends <laughs> hair all these people with their shiny hair recipes and stuff like that brush it out <clears throat> Quick tip, whenever you are detangling your hair, you don't want to just bring all your knots from the top and then drag them all down and then try to just like pull them straight out the end. I've already detangled this, so it's gonna go through, but you want to start from the deadest part of the hair, really. You want to start from the deadest part of the hair and work your way up. That's what you want to do. All the way up. And then you'll find that your hair is so much easier to detangle. I hope that nobody's out there just detangling from the roots and trying to drag it all the way down. If so, then they've never learned how to deal with the type of hair really um and i think it's common sense maybe it's common sense to me because i was i was born with curly hair so i always maybe my mom taught me this actually so it just seems so normal to me but um please if you ever end up curling um or brushing through someone's curly hair start from the ends it'll make you seem like you know what you're doing you just want to be really delicate and it's almost like you're grabbing the roots so that way you can protect the person from feeling any pain i think if a person has sensitive scalp too um that they should do scalp treatments like they should find an oil and a shampoo that's really nourishing maybe like with shea butter because shea butter is really soothing and, and nourishing um <clears throat> and just start treating the scalp with love and care because apparently it's sensitive for a reason you know it's got to be red and inflamed under there if you were to cut off the hair <clears throat> if you were to just go ahead and cut off all that hair can't wait to trim you. If you were to cut it off, the scalp would probably be telling you like, hey, I'm dry or hey. Um, it could be something that the person is consuming. It is the skin. It's skin the same way. The person could be having an allergy to sugars, to maybe anything that they're eating. Wheat, gluten, I don't know. I don't know. And um... And I, I will always love you. My head is hurting me so bad. I'm drinking some of this cocoa. I love cocoa. It's almost done. Ah. Lip feeling dry? Ox butter. <laughs> oh, I need some lip balm. Ox butter. So good. Grapeseed oil by itself is excellent. I live in really humid climates and it would end up curling up anyway. So what I do is I just iron it for the smoothness of it and then I put it up in a bun so I can get that curl back. I'll show you when I'm done. So all this twisting and whatnot doesn't matter. I just want to get the general smoothness of it so I can just brush through it every day and move along. Because the curly hair on the day-to-day -day, um, has a different way of maintenance. Don't want to make it sound so horrible. 
it's not it's just about having a water bottle a little squirt water bottle maybe i'll show you guys how i maintain my my curly hair during the week but um for now while i want to see my lengths let's brush it out um i'm definitely on to the get up and go just brush it really quick it feels good it feels like the oils are being baked into my hair it feels like i don't wash my hair as often which is kind of like a trade-off it's like which one do you want do you want to like do you want to um damage your hair more every day let's do this a little bit i don't iron every day i do an iron once and that's it I just let the butters bake, um, sink into my hair for the rest of the time. Boom. That's how I like it, right there. That's all I need. Okay, so I don't think I brushed this at all. This is such a great example. It looks so bad on the ends, I know. I'm sorry I keep saying it. I'm just making it worse, but it does. Once my hair gets down to my tailbone, I'm probably going to go ahead and do the trim. I think it'll feel like I got to my goal. I don't want it longer than my butt crack, because then it might go in my butt when I'm in the shower. My hair would be up anyway, wouldn't it? But if I'm washing it, nah, I'm good. Just before the backside is good for me. That's all, folks. That is all. I'm gonna get these roots one good time. I also have my iron set on 350. Let's see. I like to just grab it a few times and I'm just doing the root touch. And boom. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It'll do all that itself. More important to have healthy hair than perfectly straight hair healthy shiny hair all right so it's all iron now and the last bit that i do is any touch-ups that i might need um i would do that again why aren't you going straight who am i to be trying to educate people on how the hair grows now i just feel way more polished so I come here and I wrap it. I don't put a ponytail there, but I just go around in a circle. And my tips, I make sure that they're all twisted together. I'm going in a circle with everything the whole time. Hope you know what I mean by going in a circle. I'm like twisting it in a circle so that way when I unravel it, you know, and I take it back out, it's going to be like in that circle still. You see how it's already starting to make that circle? And then it gives it that curl that I love so much. It's a natural wave, I guess. Okay, so I give it that... That, right there, that circle. All the way down to the tip. You don't have to use a um, hair tie. Some people don't believe in that. It, they, they believe that it breaks the hair. And I do believe that in certain cases, if you don't have the right hair scrunchie, that it can break your hair so you can use a little bobby pin. You know what a bobby pin looks like, right? This is a bobby pin. Only men don't know what bobby pins look like. And that's not me being like feminist or anything. It's just, I had a guy ask me for some type of clip for the hair. And he didn't know what it was called. So I guess, it's whatever. I guess that typically women products aren't too known for men. So yeah, that is how I iron my hair. It is nice and soft and silky. And that's how I like to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked this video, you already know a lot of people say the same thing. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. <clears throat> if somebody needs a quick mm, hair ironing, hair polishing, or like a product that you want to recommend to them, share this video to that person. Um, the website of the butter is oxsystem.com. That's O-X-X -X system. Com, just like how it's spelled on this jar moisturizing hair butter they have a whole package that they sell and I, I do recommend everything in there um the conditioner is a coconut wash it's never breaking me out i have had experiences where my back had really 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 bad 
um acne on it i gotta go pee i'm back again i'm, I'm peeing out a lot of my cocoa with this I take my time to just I do this in the morning time it's like a scalp massage to me again though using I mean the owner using a soft kind of bristle but you should if your hair is thicker you don't want to use a paddle brush like that I'm telling you you don't want to do it it's just that I don't feel pull in my hair when I use that brush particularly I usually use something that has way further apart bristles than this brush that I'm using now so I just put it on the top of my head here this is typically how I do it so that way my hair can have a whole lot more volume in it and I let it chill up top. Oh, it's falling out. I'm gonna use this bobby pin. It's way too silky to hold. Let's push that in there. Yeah, that's fine. It's perfect. And that's that, guys. Like, comment, share if you like this video. <clears throat> comment on something that you'd want to see from me. Um, comment if you want to know more about Ox System. I told you their website. I can leave you a link at the bottom to their website. I don't make commissions off of that. It's just something that I've been using for a couple years now. Um, 2018. Three. Going on three years now. And I just, you know, I've started that, my hair growth journey, my natural hair growth journey, um, it was around that time, 2015 is when I really got into it. I even started using like all organic products. Suzanne's, the Ox system is the best. It is the best. It literally does everything. Like it makes my, um, all the dandruff is all gone. Well, I just don't have dandruff in my scalp. That's another thing. If you are having dandruff in your scalp, that's an irritation from your shampoo, whatever you're using. Because think about it. Like, if you were to just, like, swim in the ocean every day or just, like, swim in rivers every day, you most likely would not have any dandruff in your hair. Um, even, like, head and shoulders. I've used head and shoulders in my hair before, and my hair was so freaking dry. It just robbed me of everything in my head. And I realized that it's actually my, my scalp that's the problem. It's, it's what I'm putting on my scalp that's the problem, and it's making me really dependent on the products. Because it's like, oh, I need to wash it again, but then two days later, I have more dandruff. So these days, <clears throat> just because I ran out of my oxygen shampoo, I've been using um, Dove Dermal Care, and those really do it for me. It really does it for me. My hair is soft, and it just feels um, balanced, and my scalp feels calm and dry. And they have shea butter in there, too, actually. So that's been helping me out with my hair growth and all-natural journey, all-natural journey. Um, but the Oxystem shampoo is the one is the one for me. The Oxystem shampoo <clears throat> is the one I was telling you has the wheat protein in it. Um, and it doesn't say that it's for dandruff. It doesn't say that it's for your scalp. It doesn't claim any of that. It just has the right ingredients in it. Um, it has the wheat protein. And I think that one also has coconut oil or something. But I realized that my hair stays fresh and calm. My scalp is perfect for... <clears throat> I can go for two weeks. Um, and I've had somebody ask me like... I guess it seemed kind of nasty. But I was like, honestly, I just feel like my head is still so clean. Like, I don't need to... I don't need to wash it every week right now. It just feels so clean. And I went outside, I've come back inside. You know, I did my usual activities. I probably sweated it a little bit and my scalp just felt so clean still. That's, that's, I just recommend Oxygen. <laughs> um, because I'm a girl that struggles with hair products and the right products and getting my curls right, having a balance between curls and moisture and scalp health. Um, I'm that girl. I've gone through a lot of products to find the right ones. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you soon. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>